Hi, this is Steve Spence with ArduinoTronics.blogspot.com. Today we are demonstrating our DIY Arduino and our USB to FTDI interface. We have constructed a Arduino, a very minimal Arduino, on a piece of solderless breadboard. To the right of the solderless breadboard is our power supply and that takes in 12 volts from the power adapter that was plugged into the wall, 12 volts DC, and with a 5 volt regulator and two 10 UF capacitors, drops that down to a regulated 5 volts, which makes the Arduino very happy. We have a dropping resistor and a red LED to show that there is power coming off the 5 volts. To the left, we have our Atmel 328. We have a 16 megahertz crystal with two 22 PF capacitors. We have a resistor in the lower right corner there tied to pin one of the Atmel chip for the reset circuit. And we have an LED, a green flashing LED connected to Arduino 13 which is pin 19 on the Atmel 328. There is a sketch running on the Atmel that is making that light blink. So that shows that our chip is operational. There is an 8 pin header right to the right of the chip there and that is for plugging in our FTDI interface. Now what we've done here is we now have an embeddable circuit that we can put into appliances and projects without having to have the complexity and the expense of having the programming interface on board. Anytime that we need to update this particular project, we can just take this board here and plug it into that interface. This board here has four active pins. It has the black wire which is ground. It has the two yellow wires which are transmit and receive. And then it has a capacitor connected to pin one which works with that reset circuit that we talked about over here. And what that allows the computer, when it's got a USB cable plugged into this interface, allows you to upload a sketch and it automatically reboots the Atmel at the appropriate time so that you get a proper upload. So this little board here with pin 8 on the left and pin 1 on the right comes over and plugs right into that interface and now we're able to plug a USB cable into here and program the chip. We are not bringing any of the power over from the USB interface to the Arduino because we have power over here. So we're just bringing ground, transmit and receive and the reset which comes off the DTR pin. And we will show examples of that in upcoming projects. But that is the DIY Arduino and shows how minimal and how simple it is to include this into other projects including household appliances, lighting circuits, door openers, uh, alarm systems, anything that you can think of that needs some intelligence to read a sensor and then perform an action. Thank you for watching and read more about how to construct this with the code and schematics at arduinotronics.blogspot.com